break? Um, just getting the sticks in the hands and throwing the ball around, uh, make sure we're, we're breathing heavy at practice, get a bit of a sweat on, but um, get together, throw the ball around and get some shots on Delbs and Blando and see what happens. Tomorrow is no ordinary game with Curtis Dixon coming back. How are you as a team feeling about, you know, seeing the guy who meant so much to this franchise make his return instead of Superman being the supervillain maybe? <laughs> yeah, he was a huge part of our team for a really long time and uh, it's sad to see him go. Um, but the focus is going to be on getting two points and we got to key in on him as a player just because he's so dynamic and he's, he's able to do a lot of things out there that not many people can do. Um, so it'll be an interesting game, but that's kind of lesser of a focus than them as a whole. Um, we just kind of have to see what he does within their offense and try to key in on how he's, uh, how he's meshing with the other guys. Think you guys might be uh, uniquely prepared to try to defend him, especially considering the, the tear he's been on early in this season? He's a pretty dynamic player. Um, I'd say he's probably number one in one-on-one. Uh, -on -one as an offensive player so it's tough to kind of prepare for that but if uh, anyone knows what his moves are it'll be mouse so we're, i'm sure that the scout's going to be pretty pretty heavy on him and when he made the difficult decision to go somewhere else like was there any kind of like farewell in the group text or kind of any any note that you guys were able to leave it on yeah um he sent a message uh it's not easy for someone to to leave after 11 years he sent a message to us and uh, he's a good friend of all of ours. Um, he's been around for a long time, so um, you can't really hold it against him. This is, at the end of the day, a job, and uh, some people get better job opportunities, whether it's um, location, pay, whatever it may be, and, and people can make their own decisions of what's best for them and their families, and we completely understand that. So not going to hold it against him. Um, still, still a good friend of mine, and uh, just have to kind of forget about that tomorrow night. Do you have a favorite memory of him in or out of game? Um, I don't know how many goals did he score when I was on the team. They're all pretty good. Um, don't have one in particular, but seeing him after we won in 2019 was pretty surreal just because that was actually the first time he'd won in this league after, I think it was nine seasons. And he's been so close so many times. So seeing how, how fulfilled he was lifting that trophy was probably my number one moment with him. And you guys are coming off a really complete effort in the lower mainland. What do you think has been clicking for your group up to this point? We've been really dialed in defensively. Everyone's on the same page. Our communication has been um, the best it's been since I've been here. The ball's been moving a lot. Delves is playing the highest level of lacrosse I've seen him play in my, my five years here. So all those things coming together makes for a, for a good outcome for us, and we just got to keep it rolling into tomorrow. Well, looking at San Diego and your guys' this team, these are two different teams this season. A lot of new guys, but they've got a strong forward group. You guys with your strong defensive group. What's the key to coming out with the win in this one? It's going to be playing smart and taking care of the ball and uh, trying not to make too many stupid errors. Um, if we make a silly mistake, the ball is probably going to end up in the back of our net. So trying to take care of the ball and make sure that we're dialed in with our communication on offense and defense. and. Um, not getting too high, not getting too low, and just try to stay even keeled and hopefully we come out on the right side at the end of it. Well, and I was asking Coach this too, but how important is it that it's a full team effort for you guys to win this? It's pretty important. Um, we, we've been playing by committee this year. Um, everyone's sharing the ball. Uh, we don't have anyone that's going to kind of go through 10 guys like Dixon would in the, in the past. So it, it really makes it so that we have to focus on the team aspect and make sure that our plays are really uh, – we're executing our plays to perfection and communicating on defense. So um, just playing by committee, it's, it's very important.